what does it mean to do justice? And it's a question that I have spent most of my career trying to answer. I worked at the US Department of Justice and one of my responsibilities was to investigate allegations of police brutality and investigate killings by police officers. My office was responsible for policing the police. Now, after 20 years of working inside America's justice system, I've come to realize our system isn't actually built to achieve justice. Our system was designed to achieve punishment. And one thing that I've learned after sending many people to prison for doing terrible things to other people is that we should never confuse punishment for justice. But it's also important to remember that this system, it was built by people. And we can decide whether or not we want to build something different. System and, and the state prosecutor, Scarlett Wilson, and I had many conversations about what was happening in Charleston and, and, and a lot of the legacy of racism and a lot of how deeply ingrained some of these systems were. And she said to me, you know, I've been collecting data for a really long time and I'd like to know, are we being fair? Are we? And we said, great, well, what should we count? And so we began to use their data, looking at decision points that they made to count are you doing things fair? And we found all sorts of disparities, and some of them could be explained by, by racial bias, but a lot of them couldn't. A lot of those disparities were being generated just by the very way the system functioned. And what was really remarkable to me is, is we met there and we began to, to meet people where they were at and to begin to ask questions and to begin to think about the system in a different way and to use numbers to start to quantify different things is that we actually began to see that culture change. And we began to see them say, no, these outcomes, these are not who we wanna be. Help us figure out how to do it. Help us understand where our system is failing. Because changing systems requires changing relationships. And if we are going to change these systems, we must build bigger alliances and healthier collaboration. At Justice Innovation Lab, we like to say, it starts by understanding the world as it is, imagining the world as it could be, and then do something about it. It's not easy, and it is not fast, but one thing I have learned since starting Justice Innovation Lab is that it is entirely doable. It requires us to ask better questions, requires us to count the right things, and it requires that when we see injustice, we do something about it. How do you stand up in the face of, of, of injustice? What we do at Justice Innovation Lab is, is working within that system to build true accountability. So all of the actors who interact, not just police policing their own, but prosecutors have a role to play and far too often uh, either look the other way or feel inequipped. We need to create better feedback loops and checks on conduct close to real time as possible and create those cultures where, where people feel like not only um, do they have an obligation to intervene, but that they actually have the power and tools to be able to intervene effectively in real time.